Jerry of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. What'll we do, Sandy? Don't you worry, Jerry. We'll get those cars stopped before we hit that bad grade. But how? The air brake and the engine's broken, but each of these cars have individual brakes, one at each end. We've got to get up here on top of the cars. Now, quick, Jerry. We've got no time to lose. I'll see not. Seems like we're going faster. Oh, gee, my neighbor. They're hard to turn. See? Now the other brake, the other end of the car. Quick. Can I help? Sorry, son. This is one time that takes even more than an average man's strength. There, that's good. Now, quick, back to the next car. But we're still moving. Yep, after all, there's three cars here. One set of brakes won't hold them. There's the curve ahead, and then it's an honest-to-goodness downgrade. Oh, these blame things are sure stiff. I sure wish I were big right now and strong. I wish you were, too. Come on, we've got to get that next brake. Those two brakes don't seem to be holding us any. Well, they're, they're helping. If we can get all six tight in the forward turn that curve, we're okay. Here you are. This is the third brake. Only four more to go. Oh! <laughs> Getting out of breath, huh? <laughs> kind of. Gee, Sandy, we don't seem to be going any faster. That's something, anyhow. If the brakes weren't holding, we'd be gathering momentum. <laughs> We're plumb onto that curve. Gee, I need to spank the Samson on this job. Ah, oh, you're doing swell. Only three more, and we haven't hit the curve yet. Yeah, but we're right up to it. Oh, now there. Yeah, that's good. Just two more. Got to leave one of these brakes that hold it. I get them all done. We just got to make it, Sandy. We can't let the circus down now. The brakes just got to oh, hold. You're right, Jerry. Can't let those horses end up in a heap of tangled steel at the bottom of the grave. Let me let me get up this wheel, huh? You're sure strong. Why, you turn that more than... Hey, Sandy, we're turning the curb. We're still moving. If we get around it, we're lost. Where'd I get that last brake? That might hold us. Quick, Sandy. We are going slower. Hear the brakes? How they're dragging? Come on. I just, I just can't get it any tighter. They're holding, Sandy. You did it. You made it, Sandy, and just in time. That first car was just starting down the grade. Well, Jerry, if anyone had asked me, I'd, I'd have said it couldn't have been done. Dad told me once that when you need extra strength in an emergency, you always get it. If you go right ahead and do what you have to and forget that you can't do it. I believe he's right. I'm not bragging, but honest, I, I never knew I had enough power to... Why, it'd take three men on a job like this as a rule. Listen to them. Guess they're as thrilled as we are. Come on, we might as well get down on the ground. You're all headed this way, seems like. I don't think I can move, Jerry. Guess I'm kind of done in. Well, I should think you would be. Can I do anything for you? No, I, I'll be all right in a jiffy. Just let me rest a minute. Okay. You sure deserve a rest. Hi there, folks. Hi there, sir. You and Sandy trying to do, run away with them horses. <laughs> yeah, thought we'd start a circus of our own. Come on, Sandy, can you get down now? Sure, I'm okay. Hey, I never thought you'd do it, Sandy. Neither did I. Jerry kept me going, though. I'd have given up, I'm afraid. You give up, an old circus man like you? That <laughs> don't make me laugh. Well, we'll save your horses for you anyway. What about the fire back there? Hold out. Yeah, the worst of it. The fellas are going through it now, beating out any sparks and trying to see how much damage is done. Well, come on, gang. Let's see what we can do to help. Okay. okay. Hey, don't tell me there's anything left of that car that had the props and costumes in it. Well, some stuff has been saved, but lots of it's pretty badly damaged. Clara's having a whale of a time trying to get some order over there. Clara? The women are out, too? I'll say they are. and They'll be up all night trying to fix up that wardrobe so we can get together some kind of a show tomorrow. Jiminy Christmas. 
Hey, what about the car the pops were in? Well, that's one flat car we'll never use again. They'll just leave it on the roadside. Whitey, get those horses of yours organized. We'll pack up the engine and couple these cars together again. We gotta get going. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, Sandy, right away. Come on, Jerry. Okay, Whitey. Hey, Sandy, I I just been back with his loading and Claire's raising an offer on us. What's wrong with that wardrobe woman now? Well, says she'll have to have light in those boxcars if she's going to be sewing uh, all night well, long. Well, she'll have a light. We got some coal oil lanterns we can stick in there. You know, if you'd get him to wire the horse cars for electricity, we'd have decent lights in an emergency like this. <laughs> Always clowning, aren't you, Slat? Don't you even get enough of it in the ring? Well, everyone expects you to clown in the ring. It's much more fun clowning outside working hours because folks aren't looking for it and I can get a better rise out of a guy. Don't tell me anyone ever takes you serious. No, not if they know me. Just look at those folks around Clara. You tell her I'll see that she has light. I got work to do. You tell Clara not to interfere with the men loading the stuff. Yeah, I'll tell him. Hey, Clara. Yeah, who wants me? Well, it's me, Slat. <laughs> Sandy says he'll get some coal oil lamps and set them in the boxcars for you to work by. Oh, thanks, Slat. No use looking through that stuff, Pete. Can't use any of it. But what about my tights? Well, don't you worry about your tights. We'll have some for you by matinee time. Well, you uh, didn't come across my vest, did you? Listen, what do you think I'm doing? I can't check everyone all at once. Sure, I know. I was just asking. It's, uh... It's a mighty swell vest. Belonged to my grandfather. Don't know where I'd ever get another. Well, you should have kept it with your own thing. Sure, I know, I know, I know. But it needed fixing, don't you remember? Yes, oh, that's right. There all these boxes go, Clara? Yes, they're kind of scorched, but I'll go through that stuff, and maybe we can make some of it do. Okay. Some of you men, give us a hand here, will you? All right, Charlie. Well, looks like you pretty near got it loaded. Just that pile of stuff over there, and we'll be ready. Uh, got enough folks helping tonight? I'll pitch in if you say the word. As a matter of fact, I could use some more people. Can you sew straight? You bet I can. And I can darn, too. Well, then get into the boxcar when we get moving. Most of the women have taken things back to their own cars to work on. Well, I'll have to do a lot of sorting. Hey, Slap, Clara, any of you seen Sandy? What's wrong now? Are you just running the race? Well, Whitey and I just finished fixing up the horses, and Whitey wanted me to tell Sandy so he wouldn't think we was holding up the train. He'll be back in a minute. Yeah, sounds like they're backing up now. Once to get those cars coupled together again, we'll be on the way. Good. Say, Clara, anything I can do to help? Sure thing. Can you sew? Of course not. Boys don't sew. Why, sure they do. Guess I saw you fixing up your sock the other morning, didn't I? Oh, but that's different. Now, listen. It's no disgrace to be able to sew. I'm a pretty good dressmaker myself, if I do say so. And I'm going to help Clara. He sure is. Hope he's as handy with a needle as he thinks he is. However, if you want to really work all night, Jerry, I'd be glad for you to help me. There's lots of sorting and stuff to be gone through. I could use an extra pair of hands in lifting boxes and folding. Sure thing. I'll be glad to. Whitey says you'll be working in the boxcar where the baggage horses were. Yes, that's right. Okay. I'll be back soon as we're ready to start. I've got to find Sandy. Well, he'll be over there where they're coupling those cars. Okay, Slash. Thanks. Be seeing you. Sure. And I'll be teaching you how to embroider before the night's over. Oh, Ron, if you kidding that nice boy. <laughs> He's a funny kid. Always wanting to help. Why is it boys think it's something to be ashamed of to be able to sew? Oh, I don't know. It's a woman's job, I guess. Of course, when they're not around, it just behooves us to get in a couple of stitches ourselves if we're going to wear things out. Well, that's the last of this. Hope Sandy doesn't forget those oil lamps. Uh, you the wardrobe lady? Yeah. Uh, Sandy sent me over with these lanterns. Speaking of angels, we were just wondering about those lamps. Well, put them in that boxcar, and thanks, buddy. Okay. Night. Night. And thanks for the light burners. <laughs> Here we go. Well, better let me give you a lift into this boxcar. Quite a climb for a woman. No, not for me. Oh, hello there, Whitey. Uh, hiya, Clara. How you doing? Well, tell you better in the morning. Want to help us tonight? Well, sure thing. I swing a mean needle. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you do. <laughs> Probably be dangerous for anyone within an arm's distance, though. Uh, what'd you ever sew, horse blankets? Uh, got a job for me, Clara? Yep, climb in. If you can stay awake after all you've been through, I guess I can keep you busy. Jerry better step on it if he wants to get in this boxcar once we start moving. Here he comes now. Hey, Jerry, hurry oh, up. They got started sooner than I expected. Well, give me your hand. Here, hang on tight and I'll swing up. Uh, quick, the other hand. There you are, Jerry. <sighs> kind of out of breath. Now, you listen here. Don't you ever do that again. What? And try to board a moving train. It's dangerous. Uh, I was talking to Sandy, and 
Well, he boarded the next car, and I suddenly realized I'd have to get going, or I wouldn't be able to help Claire tonight. Close that door there, Claire. It's cold. We got a heap of work. Well, what can I do? Move those lights over so I can go through this pile of scorched things. There, now, that's better. Land sakes, what a mess. Here, we can use this. Well, what'll I do with it? Put these things in a pile to be thrown out. Whitey. Hey, Whitey, here's something you can do. Now, where's the dickens as Whitey? Hey, look. Found asleep on those costumes in the corner. Well, <laughs> isn't that just like a man? <laughs> I can see I should have made some of the women work in here tonight. Oh, don't worry. What did you want? I'll bet I can do it. All these trappings for the elephant, see? They're scorched, but we can brush them up well. And if you'll shine the metal up, I think we can get by tomorrow. Sure. That's easy. Uh, Clara. Now what? That, that thing you're throwing away. Well, what of it? Well, what of it? It's my vest. You mean it was your vest. It's almost a cinder now. My, my grandfather's vest. What a break. How in the name of Sam Hill can I go on tomorrow without the vest? There are other vests. But not like that and... That vest has been with me. Yes, I know, for years. Come on, Flats, get to work. But how can I be funny tomorrow with my heart breaking? Always I've been able to look down on the gold braid and the yellow and red spots on that beautiful vest and know that the audience just couldn't help seeing me. We'll find another vest, Slash. Sure. Go round to the second-hand shops tomorrow. This is just the kind of a vest most people send to the rag man. Pawn shops will be full of you. You think so? Sure. You don't think self-respecting people would keep them at home. I'll go with you in the morning, Slats. We'll find you a vest with colors so loud that the audience won't see any of the other clowns in the ring. 